Chinese X99 motherboards and ECC registered memory. How many times I have got this question, I have no idea. But people are just keep texting me and texting me. I have bought an X99 motherboard, Xeon i5 CPU and ECC registered memory, but the memory does not work in ECC registered mode. So first of all, if you have a mission critical device which relies on the ECC function, you shall not buy Chinese X79 or X99 motherboards. These motherboards from AliExpress by definition are not designed to provide high availability, high stability. These are low cost budget alternatives and if you're buying them, you are ready to sacrifice something. Most of the people who are buying these motherboards would not even know what is ECC mode and how to validate if this ECC mode is on or off, and that's why almost nobody complains. But some of you who are actually knowledgeable in service stuff and would like to get a cheap or budget server or workstation with the ECC function enabled, you need to watch out, because most of the Chinese X79 and X99 motherboards, even though they can work with ECC registered memory, in the BIOS this option is not enabled. Moreover, you can buy the same motherboard that I have tested and reported that ECC mode is enabled, and in your case it's not going to be enabled because Chinese decided to make a new revision of the motherboard and new revision comes with a new BIOS. Another thing is that people are constantly asking me how to enable ECC mode in the BIOS. I have not yet seen a single Chinese X99 motherboard which would come with a BIOS where you can enable or disable ECC function. It either works out of the box or it doesn't work. Finally, let me focus on the today's question and look for some solutions how to enable ECC mode when you are using Chinese X99 motherboard with ECC registered memory. As usual, you can put the video on pause and read the question text yourself, but in short, my subscriber bought a Huanan GX99 F8 motherboard with a Xeon i5 2680v4 and a bunch of ECC registered DDR4 memory. I believe it was this combo from the Huanan G official store on AliExpress. This is a rather good store, but usually they have uh, very expensive prices, so if you can find something for a good price, feel free to buy it. I have only positive experience with this store. Again, it's not advertisement, they're not paying me anything, they have insanely high prices very often, so always do your evaluation if it makes sense to buy from them or no, I'm just saying that whatever I bought from them, I always got positive experience with the customer support and with sales from AliExpress. But you need to understand how AliExpress sales work. People who are selling on AliExpress, they're not technical at all. Chinese factories and the Chinese manufacturers, they hire the cheapest sales personnel possible. And people who are selling these motherboards, they may not even know what is DDR3 and DDR4 until they actually start working as a salesperson on AliExpress page. That's why it does not make any sense to rely on Huananji support, especially not from AliExpress. They may provide you some technical support if you're a big valuable customer who is buying more than 100 motherboards at a time. But back to the question. We have got this motherboard, we have got ECC registered memory, and the ECC mode is not enabled. So first and the most important thing is that Huanan GX99 TF and Huanan GX99 FA motherboards are available in two variations. The first variation, which was tested by me and by many other YouTubers, is coming with one sort of BIOS, and the next one, which was released not long ago, is coming with another sort of BIOS. So far, the only major difference that I was able to collect from the internet is the BIOS chip. The first revision is using Windbond BIOS chip and the other one is using MX something, I don't remember the exact name, but I remember that it was not Windbond. If you have got a motherboard from the previous revision which uses Windbond BIOS chip, then you have multiple different options. First, you can take a look at the BIOS made by BIOS i Engineer. This BIOS supports ECC registered memory in ECC mode. You can, of course, download it from GitHub, you can flash it with your USB flash programmer, and you can also flash it using Alpha Win or FPT, of course, if FPT is not blocked on your motherboard. Another source of BIOS options is the GitHub account of a user called Koshak1013. This guy is collecting different BIOS options for different motherboards, and if you go to the 
first page you're going to see that he has collections for multiple different motherboards and uh, by the way x99 f8 bias works with x99 tf and x99 t8 so here you can see a bunch of different bias options and here is the latest one maybe this one counts for the next revision i don't know i don't have the next revision motherboard to test thus i cannot confirm or deny it but here you have different bias options and you can check that and lastly, you have the famous website called Xeon E5450.ru. Here you can sometimes also find very useful and good different BIOS modifications. Sometimes they are a bit lagging behind and not updating their BIOS collections with the latest revisions. Sometimes, other way around, they are able to dig out new BIOS modifications and you can get it from the website. Okay, so to recap all of these, first, you do not buy Chinese X79 or X99 motherboards if you need a mission-critical device. And second, if you understand the consequences of buying Chinese X79 and X99 motherboards and you go for this on purpose, you just want to have your ECC mode enabled by the BIOS you have got on your motherboard does not support it, you need to find a compatible BIOS modification with ECC mode enabled. There are multiple different sources for BIOS modifications such as BIOS i Engineer, Koshak, and Xeon E5450. And that's probably all I can say for now. I hope this helps, I hope this answers the question, and I hope I can use this video in the future when people are coming again and again with the same question. Bye bye for now!